Shalom, Brother Rock coming to you another video. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rikakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. The videos we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces. Okay, now the title of this video is called Like Men Be Strong. Like Men Be Strong. Okay, now uh, for the ones who haven't been, uh, who are new to the faith, you know, the scriptures tell you that the Lord is dealing with the men specifically. Okay, all right. Now, of course, there's salvation will be given to um, the women and children, which are part of the multitude of the one third. Okay, who are, are part of the elect. OK, but this word and this faith is starting with the men. OK, and the scriptures tell you that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. OK. OK, the book of Ezekiel, <clears throat> chapter 34, verse 31, it says, and ye my flock. The flock of my pasture are men, and I am your power, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Again, Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So the hey, look, the, the flock of the pasture are the men, the men, the Israelite man, okay? Starting with the elect. Okay, the 144,000 okay, hey, are, are, um, are men. You know, the Lord is dealing with the men first, okay? And the men are supposed to teach their families, you know? As the scriptures tell you, there's a, um, everything is uh, decent and in order, okay? But the Lord is dealing with the men first, okay? Now, uh, in this society, you know, uh, being a man is, is shunned upon, okay? But the scriptures tell you to be a man and you know, um, and, and to quit ye like men, okay? Be be uh, brave like men. Matter of fact, I'm, a, I'm here now, so let me get it. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. It says, and this is Paul, Apostle Paul speaking to the church of Corinth. All right, uh, in the letter, it says, Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. You know, be brave like men, okay? And we're going to get a definition of men, but... Um, I want to say through the spirit, you know, um, we're supposed to be brave like men and our strength comes from faith. OK, you know, our strength comes from Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Now, when you go into the definition of men, OK, it tells you exactly, you know, how um, what what a man is, what a man is. OK. It says the definition of man. OK, because. Let me see if it is here. So lucky it because when you go into that definition of man, you know, it, it basically tells you that, you know, a man is uh, a warrior. OK, it says. Um, it says. A workman, a laborer. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. But the, the, the main definition I wanted is warrior. So a man is supposed to be a warrior. OK, when you think of a warrior, a warrior is, you know, uh, someone who's strong and, and willing to go to battle, not just, you know, thinking about it carnally, but spiritually. You know, and I, again, our, our strength comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai having faith. OK, now let me prove that. And then uh, I'm going to bring out uh, a precept of, you know, King David speaking to uh, King Solomon before his death. And one of the things that he told King Solomon to be. OK, but first, um, let me get first Peter chapter one. And let's see. Let me start at um, verse three. It says, bless be. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, 
which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the res resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach from the dead. Okay, and it's speaking to the elect. It says, verse 4, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away reserved in heaven for you. Verse 5, and I'm, I'm getting to the point. It says, who are kept by the power of the Lord, okay, through faith, unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time and so our strength comes from having faith in Yahweh Shai you know and ultimately that is what's going to give salvation to the elect Lord willing with some of those men so um, all the power the glory comes from faith all right just to prove that now going to uh, first king when you read first King um, chapter two, verse one, it says, now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. OK, King David, before the end of his reign, um, he was, you know, um, King Solomon uh, was getting ready to um, become king and inherit uh, the throne from King David. OK, which, of course, is his son. It says, and he charged Solomon, his son, saying, Verse two, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. So one of the first thing King David tells King Solomon before, you know, handing over the, the throne to his son, King Solomon, of course, uh, before his death is to be a man, to be a warrior. OK, now uh, and of course, a righteous man. All right. Uh, first King, chapter two, verse three, and keep the charge of the Lord thy power okay because all of our strength comes from Yahweh Yahweh Shai it says to walk in his ways okay which means to keep the statute laws and commandments and to to um be a righteous man it says to keep his statues and his commandments there you go keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your uh, in, in this society to the best of your ability okay it says and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses OK, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. OK, so that lets you know hey, that the Lord, all the strength comes from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. OK, and it's starting like and it's starting with the um, the Israelite man, the hopeful elect. You know, because, again, the Lord is dealing with the men. So like the um, title says, like men be strong. OK, meaning um, uh, uh, and, and again, speaking to the Israelite man, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American men. OK, who have faith, be strong in the faith. OK, because all of our strength comes from from faith. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to bring out some more precepts because the spirit is still on me to bring out some more precepts. Uh, Hebrews 11. OK, um, I'm going to start at verse six. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So the heavenly father, the only way to please the heavenly father is if you have uh, how about Shimei Shai, is if you have faith in them. OK. It's the only way you're going to be a rewarder of of um, salvation or any um, gifts and rewards that the Lord is going to give you. OK, is that you diligently seek him in which you have to have faith to do so. All right. Now, going down to seven, it says by faith, Noah. OK, and we all know the story of Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet moved with fear. OK, because Noah was given to get the fear from the heavenly father. It says prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith, by faith. So Noah received that power of to be heir of righteousness by having faith. OK, so that's how Noah was um, considered um, a brave man. OK, by being strong in faith. Verse eight. Hebrews 11 and 8, it says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for inheritance, obeyed. And he went out knowing, uh, not knowing whether he went. Um, 
verse nine, by faith, he, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in uh, tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. So the Lord, uh, the Lord made a promise with, with Abraham. OK, because Abraham, you know, was a faithful man. OK, he, he was a brave man in which he um, received that strength um, through the power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy by having faith. So really, this lesson should be um, called like men be strong in the faith, you know, and it's not talking about anything carnal. As you, you can clearly tell through the scriptures, it's all spiritual. You know, this is all spiritual. You know, we're going to re receive our power through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy by having faith. And like Paul said, I'm going to close out on what I opened up on um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. It says, watch ye stand fast in the faith. So stand fast, meaning um, unmovable. OK, you know, unmovable, unwavering, standing uh, firm in, in the truth, in the faith, man. It says, quit you like men. OK, being brave like men. So um, it's not you shouldn't be ashamed of being a man. You should you should um, spiritually, um, you know, be excited for, you know, to, to have an opportunity to be in this truth and be a man growing your beard, you know, um, you know, uh, being uh, faithful, being service to you. How about you now? Shy doing the works of the Lord, you know, going out there, um, making your um, body's living sacrifice, you know. So again, it says, quit you like men, be strong. And that's being strong in the faith. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who will well. And the double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth. <clears throat> Salaki in truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.